Hi ladies and welcome back to The Balanced Mom. First and foremost, Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday with your family and friends. To get started for the new year, I want to share with you guys my five daily habits that honestly keep me sane, motivated, and organized. So starting with number one, having a good morning routine is very crucial. That means for me, making my bed is honestly a top priority. There is research that actually shows that even accomplishing one small task in the morning, like making your bed, sets you up for a more successful day. So if you haven't started or you don't do that, give it a try. You will honestly be surprised just to see the difference between making it or just starting off your day with it leaving it upside down. Secondly, meal planning. I cannot tell you how much it has changed my life. I really feel like every single time dinner would be approaching I felt like a chicken with my head cut off I wouldn't really know what I'm making I would think oh I'll just make some chicken something and then I'm like oh but it's frozen okay I'll just quickly try to defrost it it was overwhelming and I always felt like I was unprepared so to tackle that I started meal planning on and off and then I did it inconsistently where I would do it a few days a week and then some days I would skip it and I'm telling you it's better to have a few days that are meal planned than not have it at all you'll notice that even on those few days even if you try it three days a week you'll notice those days are so much smoother and easier to tackle by the time dinner comes and everybody's like hey what's for dinner you have it all set you already know what you're making and you defrosted what you needed to defrost it and you're totally ready to tackle dinner without being overwhelmed or running around trying to think of what in the world you're gonna make possibly even with a crying child around I'm telling you it is so much easier so if you haven't tried it and you're not convinced let me just challenge you to start off with one or two days like pick two days maybe Tuesday and Thursday and decide here's what I'm gonna make Tuesday and then here's what I'm gonna make Thursday you'll see a huge difference on those two days third this is something that again has just helped me personally I always had the idea that as an adult I don't want to become an adult that's reliant on coffee I know it sounds silly but I remember being younger and seeing adults just rely on coffee so much that I'm like wow they can't function <laughs> and so I decided I don't want to become like that so I really fought years and years of like no coffee or once a week coffee I really try to limit it. Well, that turned into, you know, three days a week and then it turned into five days a week. And before I knew it, I was drinking coffee every single day. And there's nothing wrong with that. But hear me out. It felt like I'd wake up in the morning and the first thing I needed or wanted was coffee. And truthfully, I just don't want my kids to remember me like that. I wanted to come downstairs with a smile, not trembling for coffee or so desperately needing it where I can't function without it. I am telling you, it was really hard when I was like, I'm done. I'm going to allow myself again once or twice a week as a treat, usually once a week but at least it's a treat instead of waking up and really really needing it before I can start my day it has made a huge difference in my life I mean the number of times my coffee got cold and then I would have to reheat it up honestly it just wasn't worth it and the more important part is just how I feel in the morning I wake up now and I'm not thinking oh I really need coffee before I can start my day I wake up and I'm like all right this is what my morning routine consists of all right here's what we're gonna do next and the day just feels like it runs a lot smoother with me not relying on it now hold up I'm not saying go ahead and give up coffee I'm saying is there something that you could possibly put or potentially replace it with that can either energize you more or can benefit you more so I replaced it with tea but that's because it's cold outside and I just thought oh a warm drink would be nice it's not something I drink every day it's not something that I'm like super excited about in the morning it's just kind of like a backup plan like oh if I really want something that's not just water then I'll make tea at some point during the day I know for me picking up working out is a bigger booster than coffee was and I feel like I was relying on coffee and was okay with being in the groggy phase tired phase and just hoping that the caffeine would kick in and honestly I was just tired of that I just want to be motivated and energized without needing to rely on something and so I noticed that working out not only does it give me that boost of energy but more importantly obviously it's super important for my health so it's like a win-win situation number four and this is a big one I wish I actually knew this existed when I was a working mom because I felt like I just couldn't get it all together this is resetting nightly that does not mean having your house be upside down all day long and then you're working an hour and a half at night to get it all reset and back to its cleanliness the point of a nightly reset is to just be more intentional during the day leading up to the night trying to keep your kids accountable for cleaning up their area kind of like monitoring the different areas of the house to kind of keep them under control that way when the night comes the nightly reset for us at least is not just the kitchen it's kind of
of a whole house, just kind of gathering things that might have been left behind or trickled in different areas that don't belong. I have them in a little area and then in the morning they can be taken care of. But at least it's contained and it's not like everything is upside down. I also wipe down counters, make sure that the dishes are loaded in the dishwasher all throughout the day so that at night I'm more focused on are there any dishes that need to be quickly washed by hand, making sure that the dishwasher is actually running so that the next morning we can unload it and have it all be put away so that it's ready to be loaded throughout the day. But seriously, if you haven't tried it, you need to give it a try. I'm telling you, it is so amazing to come downstairs in the morning to a clean home a peaceful home. I can pretty much say that it is life-changing and it is the thing that has brought me the most sanity. Now hold up. Before you run off and think, okay, nobody you know, keeps their house clean 100% of the time, that's not what I'm saying here. Aim for better. So if you're the type of person that you know has a tornado going through the house all day long, you know what? I'm actually recording in our current school room, which is a bit of a mess on the desk that the kids work on. And that's because I dropped the ball and I didn't keep them accountable for cleaning it up tonight. I don't want you to think this is 100% of the time. Aim for 95% and you will see a huge change in your home. So I'm not going around around and screaming at everyone to get everything done every single second of the day. But the point is if you have a system in place, it runs so much smoother. So yes, I did not ask them to clean up their table tonight, but it's just something that most nights it is cleaned and I do ask them to make sure that it's cleaned. And so it's the same thing with the kitchen. Are there any times where my kitchen is upside down or the counters are not wiped? Of course. I don't even think I wiped the dining room table tonight and that's okay though. At first, it doesn't even look like it's not wiped, so it doesn't have to be wiped. But also there are times when I'm not feeling well that I'm like, you know what, I'll take care of this tomorrow. But that is not the norm. I think that's the whole point of this. Always aim to do better and not for perfection, but you could aim for 80% of the time and then increase it to 90% of the time. But challenge yourself to make your life more sane and easier. A really challenging, mind-fogging situation is coming down to piles of dishes and everything being upside down. Again, if you're sick, that is the exception. But coming down to a clean home really gives you the chance to start off your day versus if it's messy, you're coming downstairs and you're pretty much trying to finish off the previous day so you can start your day even though the day has already started. All right, number five, the last one is doing a brain dump. If you've never done a brain dump, all it is is whether it's a sheet of paper, a whiteboard, blackboard, something that you can take thoughts out of your mind and put them somewhere. So it could even be on your phone. I like to actually write it, whether it's in my planner or on a little board that we have that deals with meal planning. I'll throw some like food stuff up there, like foods that we need to eat so that they don't go bad or grocery ingredients that we ran out of. All of it goes up there. And then anything else that I possibly need to do, like maybe I need to do a return or take care of something, or maybe the kids ask me to order something that they need. All of that is part of my brain dump. And the reason I do that is I'm sure everybody has been guilty of this, where you're like, oh, I think I had something to do, but I don't know what it was. And that often happens because we have so many things going in our minds at once, and we're trying to manage so many things that oftentimes I think it's like a computer overload. Think about when you're opening a bunch of programs in a computer and it really slows down and it's like not working well. I feel like that's what our brains do. There's so much information coming at us and then we're like, ooh, what's the other thing that I needed to do? I can't remember. So what a brain dump does is you're taking anything that you remember. I usually like to do that at night and obviously if you remember during the day you can do it then but a brain dump is like so it's just taking a lot of things off your mind that also even helps with falling asleep if you've ever caught yourself in bed and you're like oh I can't forget to do this and you like can't fall asleep that's another good place to have a notepad so you can jot it down and get it off your mind a brain dump is super important for all moms out there if you have never tried it I highly 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 encourage you to try it so there you have it ladies those are the five daily habits that I implement 95% of the time, which helped me to stay sane. If you haven't heard, we started a decluttering challenge for the month of January where you get rid of 12 items every single day and it gives you the different areas to work on. So if you'd like to join, feel free to comment below. I can send you the link for the Facebook group. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you guys next time.